several Tory MPs have joined Labour in demanding Theresa May withdraw a key Brexit legislation amendment to set the exact time of EU departure in law. Ministers say being crystal clear about when the UK will leave on March 29, 2019 will give maximum certainty. But ex-Chancellor Ken Clark said the move was silly while Dominic Grieve said it would fetter ministers' hands if talks dragged on to the last minute. Labour has branded it a gimmick and said it will vote against it. The row came as MPs began debating the European Union withdrawal bill in depth for the first time, a crucial piece of legislation paving the way for the UK's withdrawal by essentially copying all EU law into UK law. Tuesday's marathon eight-hour debate is the first of eight sessions over the next month in which MPs will pour over the details of the government's Brexit strategy and seek changes. A government amendment to enshrine the Brexit date and time, 23 o'clock GMT on March 29, 2019, in law, announced by Mrs May last Friday, will not be debated until the final day of the committee stage next month. But it dominated the early skirmishes in the Commons as Labour's Sir Keir Starmer said setting a date in law was a desperate gimmick that was about party management not the national interest. The government's amendments to their own bill would stand in the way of an orderly transition and increase the chance of Britain crashing out of Europe without an agreement, the shadow Brexit secretary said. Theresa May should stop pandering to the No Deal enthusiasts in her own party and withdraw these amendments. What is happening on Tuesday? But former Tory Attorney General Dominic Grieve said that fixing the precise time of withdrawal at this stage would fetter the government's hands if negotiations dragged on longer than expected and the process needed to be extended in order to reach an agreement. Describing it as a mad idea that had not been discussed by the cabinet, he said it had been accompanied by blood-curdling threats that anyone who might stand in its way was somehow betraying the country's destiny. I am afraid I am just not prepared to go along with it, he told MPs. And former Chancellor Ken Clark, the only Tory to vote against triggering Brexit, condemned what he said were silly amendments thrown out solely to get positive coverage in Brexit-supporting newspapers. Labour's Frank Field said he agreed with the need for a deadline, saying he had never taken on a job without a start date or bought a house without knowing when he would take possession. He agreed to withdraw his own amendment, specifying a date but not a precise hour of departure, after Brexit Minister Steve Baker warned of legal chaos if the issue of timing was not put to rest. The government wants this bill to provide as much certainty as possible, Mr Baker added. We recognise the importance of being crystal clear on the setting of exit day. MPs are about to vote on Plaid Cymru's amendment calling for the devolved legislatures in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland to be required to grant consent to allow the Prime Minister to repeal the European Communities Act 1972. Ministers say the main aim of the EU withdrawal bill is to copy across EU rules into domestic UK law to ensure a smooth transition on the day after Brexit but critics say it is a power grab by the government which will allow ministers to change laws and regulations without going through Parliament first.